You know what? It actually is ultra extreme. It's 181. <laughs> and then you go down. This is actually very fast. Wow. <laughs> and there's Shafel here. Today we're checking out Parkitect. Last time we completed the Maple Meadows. Today we're moving into Chanute Airfield. And of course I had to search whether this is Chanute or Chanute. How else would I know? This could be Chanute or Chanuti. <laughs> Chanuti sounds like uh, Italian cuisine actually. Alright, so the objective is to have at least 250 guests in your park. Optional sell at least 400 park tickets. And complete all non-optional goals by end of June year 2. And then here is a map. It does look like an airfield. This is the warehouse where all the infantry toys are coming from somewhere around here should be our food court okay why don't we start by building a carousel we don't actually have it interesting okay rule number one is gone we can start with plain carousel instead gonna put this here entrance a exit metrics are 27 23 18 so maybe 4.5 should be good enough there we go so there is our first ride and then oh whoa we have what how many shops 12 different shops here last time we had three this is going to be one giant food court that we're gonna have why don't i just start installing things one by one so balloon house burgers cash machine cotton candy customizable shop hot dogs hot drinks info kiosk mini donuts soft drinks and then vending machine and then just connect this with that main path and that probably requires a hauler to deliver stuff so we don't even have a janitor why don't we just throw one of every kind mechanics also go in there security this time we're gonna go raptor no more knights the so haulers are putting stuff in and then we're gonna throw some doorways also some walls around these shops and then we can also take the roof from this main building and then just install them like that and then there we go now everything's covered and then if we look at the decoration bam it's all green looking good and then what else do we have we have gravitron jumper twister and wipeout next one i'm gonna go with jumper just gonna put it right here and then gonna make this six dollars and then okay now that's open as well and then since we have so many different shops why don't i just make this a giant food court so it's gonna be something like this no, I think this is too big. <laughs> I'll take that back. Delete these guys. And we can add some fountains and flowers like that. Of course, we're gonna throw some borders around them. And then benches come into play. Some trash cans. And then we have this cool looking new lamp here. Why don't we install these guys? And then so this is gonna be basically our food court. And then in my opinion... It's a little boring if you just eat food at the food court. You need something to watch. So that being said, why don't we make a coaster? Oh, we have a junior coaster. We didn't have this last time. So here we start. Stations. Place a lift. Go up. And then we go down. Maybe to underground as well. Then we come back up. Making some turns. Go down again. Come back up. Make a turn here. Then just need to make some gentle turns to go into the station. There we go. Test ride is still being done, but excitement 56 and intensity 73. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Gonna make this $15. And then now people in the food court have something to watch while they're eating. So let's see how the coaster is gonna do. Now they're going up, getting lifted by the crane. And then here they go. They're gonna go down into the underground over there make a slight turn slow down a bit and then they go down again there we go look at that they're screaming then they make a final gentle turn and into the station so we can see our guest count is going off thanks to this and then now i'm curious look at these group of people with balloons are they gonna do the hooray thing oh yeah oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They're satisfied. Okay, that's good. And then since we have this, like, random open area anyways, just gonna install a ferris wheel. Then just gonna take these trees from the map and then throw it here and there. Or throw these random cars in here just for the decoration point. So what is the final metrics that we got? 62, 74, and 20. Very high and high. I like that. So that is a roller coaster. And what else can we build? Oh, we can build a log flume? I need to do this. 
Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start from here. There is our station. Make an immediate turn and then we go up. Oh, they don't even need a crane. And then from here we go down, like really down into the ground. And then we come up. So we come out from there, go up slightly. And then we're gonna go down. And then there we go. So this one is currently a 66.15. Maybe that metro will go up even more. We're gonna charge $12 for this one. You know what? It's actually blocked over here, so we gotta do something about that. Line is going to be something like that. And then we're actually gonna bring this line to here. Then how do we reach an exit? Oh yeah, we can do this. So exit is going to be connected like that. And then there we go. Now people are coming in from food court. Our guests seem like they're enjoying the ride. Let's see, this boat is going down into the steep hill. And then there we go. We see some splash of water. So that's that and then uh what what <laughs> okay you have completed all the goals oh yeah we do have 260 guests already it's year one september and the goal was to finish it until june of year two what about the tickets have we sold 400 tickets we currently sold 270 tickets so i'm actually gonna go for that achievement as well but man oh man i'm really proud of this i wish i could do some more decorations to make it look better but i think it's a good ride so thanks to the coaster and the log flume, we can see the numbers are going up. And then because of that, we can see the ride emissions are pretty high. So we're earning about $1,500 a month. And then in these months, we are overall negative because we were still building stuff. But look at that. September, we're not building anything. And then we're just getting these cash flows, positive cash flows. And then let's see, what else do we have? We have, we have a gyro drop tower. Don't tell me this is gyro. I think it's gyro. So that will be uh, this little guy over here. It seems that we can set the height. How high can we go? <laughs> 35 stories. Um, I think this is too high. Um, why don't I make this 10? Yeah. 25, 28. So maybe about like $8. And then what else do we have? Something called a wild mouse. Small individual cars ride on a track taking many tight flat turns and bunny hops. Kinda wanna make a one small coaster here. Then we go up, undo the crane. And then from this point on, we drop, but in a curve shape. We drop like that. And then we go slightly up. And then from this point on, we're gonna get the coaster into the station. And like that. Yeah, I think that works. So there's the entrance, there's the exit. And then intensity is extreme. <laughs> 106. I don't know what happened, but I mean, I'll take it. Since we got the extreme one, maybe we can charge $20. There we go, and there's a path, and now I'm curious to see whether people are gonna come in. You wanna experience some 100 intensity ride? Why are they backing out? Maybe it's too expensive. Why don't we make this 15? There we go, there's our first victim. Meanwhile, just gonna plant some trees. So they get to enjoy some nice view before they throw up. Let's see, okay, first two victims are on their way. And then you go down. This is actually very fast, wow. <laughs> And then into the station they go. They probably have no idea what just happened. Because right ended in like 20 seconds. Oh wait, is this guy like, want to go to bathroom? Yeah, I think the way his hands are, he wants to go to bathroom. I totally forgot that I did not build a toilet. So toilet there. And now people can go to the bathroom. So two people went in, three people, four people. How many can they fit? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then are they backing out because it's full? Is that what you're doing? Maybe it's 10 people at max. And then for some reason, none of the guests are going into the wild mouse. Why don't we make this $10? You know what? It actually is ultra extreme. It's 181. <laughs> no wonder none of the customers wants to come in. Guess I'll have to do some research to figure out why this came out like 181 one ultra extreme ride i'm just gonna make this free and see if people will hop on if it's free but overall our part is doing great there are 361 people we sold 363 tickets out of 400 and then there's just like endless line of people trying to get into the bathroom and then we can see right now it's year to february and we are about to reach our 400 ticket goals as soon as these guests come in we should be done 
And there we go. You have completed the goal. Sell at least 400 park tickets. What do you guys think? I think this came out to be better than the Maple Meadows. This one was a very interesting episode with 11 different shops available from the start compared to three different shops in Maple Meadows. So maybe things change from here and there as we progress into the campaign. Curious to know what's next. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in another video.